you're all amazing. On today's video, we have the Galleon Kruger 250RL on the bench. This is the standalone version of the 250ML combo that they made in the 80s. These were used by Iron Maiden on the Summer in Time album and Alex Lifeson on the Power Windows album. So these have kind of had cult status for a lot of people, myself included, and my buddy and patron, longtime supporter of the channel, Rutger over in the Netherlands, picked one of these up, being a fellow Adrian Smith nut, and recently said he wanted to sell it. So of course, I had to buy this. Rutger, thank you so much for enabling me to grab a dream piece of gear. I'm gonna put it through its paces today. I'm gonna start off with a little kind of maiden, summer in time, seventh sun inspired track that I put together using this app. We'll just go through some of the tones standalone and then we'll hear it over a little kind of synth wave jam at the back end. But very quickly, basically it's all solid state. There's a pretty famous stereo chorus and echo in here. It has a stereo 50 watt solid state power amp in there as well. So you could drive two different cabinets. There's a stereo line out, there's a DI out four band active EQ, there's a clean channel that has a compander and a boost, and then a gain channel that just basically has two preset modes of gain on there. To me, this is kind of like they took the idea of the Rockman and they packaged it into a standalone head that you're able to rack mount, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's begin on the clean channel with a strat. I'm gonna be using either the bridge and middle pickup combination or the neck and middle pickup combination for some nice chime on here. The clean channel has a single volume control and there's two push buttons on there, one labeled comp, one labeled gain. The gain essentially just increases the input level. There's no clipping circuit in it. And the manual says that the comp is a compander, which is very interesting. There's also a four band EQ over here. It's an active EQ. Basically, you've kind of got like a high and a low shelf and then two middle controls in there. You can see where they're voiced at. Let's just start out with the Strat. I'm just gonna kick in the comp then the gain, then we'll hear the onboard echo and chorus. <laughs> Yeah. 
few observations on there. I don't like it without the comp and the gain for the clean channel. I feel like you kind of need those just to get enough level hitting the preamp in there. And the echo is more like a reverb on there. It's not a kind of Rockman style slap back. It sounds like they've actually tried to voice it so that it sounds like a little built in reverb. Again, it's kind of weird having push buttons for all of this and not knobs. The chorus is super unique. Does remind me of the Rockman on there. I believe these actually use the same chips as the original Rockman, which would make a lot of sense because people were using the Rockmans around this time, slap that kind of idea and those sounds into something with a stereo power app and go and have a good time. Let's go to the second channel now. There's a gain switch that you can activate on here. And then again, I'll let you hear it with and without the echo and the chorus. We'll start with the gain switch in the out position, still on the strat, then we'll hear it with some humbuckers. <laughs>
With the kind of conservative settings on there and the echo and chorus, it definitely has that summer in time flavor, which makes me really happy. That's the whole reason I wanted to grab one of these. With the extreme settings on the EQ though and humbuckers, you could hear that it does kind of do classic solid state amp chunk in there. It is super tight, super aggressive in there. That would something like an MXR 10 band in front of it or some kind of boost could probably get you pretty close to the dime bag thing on there. The chorus is really uneven the way it's voiced. I'm not sure if it's a wet dry thing or a phase inverted thing, but one side is a lot louder than the other on there as you could hear. So normalizing that in the DAW kind of makes it sound a little bit better. I'm not sure if that is an actual feature of the unit or there's something a little bit defective with this one. Who knows, I guess in stereo it does sound super wide, which is cool, but that is a little bit frustrating on there. So it's a pretty simple amp to use, really. You know, you don't have too many knobs on there and the knobs that are on there are very effective and it's really easy to hear what they're doing, that EQ, and then of course the volume controls, which just make things louder or quieter on there. What I'm gonna do before we wrap up is just dial in a little bit of a lead sound on this and then I'll play over like a kind of synth wave style track very quickly and let you hear what the echo and the chorus do in the context of a mix. today with the 250 RL. Again, a big shout out to my buddy Rutger for selling me this piece of gear. I only just kind of realized as well, R for Rutger, L for Leon. It was meant to be. This one definitely nails the Maiden Summer in Time, Seventh Sun kind of tones on there, but it also does a whole bunch of other stuff in there. I like the clean cleans that are kind of Rockman inspired. And obviously because there's a built-in power amp in here, it's a little bit more flexible than say the Rockman headphone amplifier. I also really enjoyed those kind of crushing dime bag inspired solid state tones on there, especially with a boost. So does this deserve its cult status? Probably. I think there's definitely other ways you can get that sound nowadays, and I will be doing an Axe FX tone match. I'll try and do some captures of this either with Tonex, Neural Amp Modeler, or the Quad Cortex at some point as well. So let me know what you would like to hear out of this unit. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support it, check the video description. You can join my Patreon. You can buy some of the music that I make with my band Ragdoll. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.